pilgrimage to Saudi Arabia, to Mecca. Now, there are some misconceptions about the Hajj, and we're going to be discussing that in a little while. But I wanted to give you a little, little bit of information in terms of what the five pillars of Islam are. And once again, they are as follows. Now, take note, because these are the reasons why you should be a Muslim. One, to bear witness that there's nothing worthy of worship as a god except Allah and that Muhammad was his slave, servant, and messenger. That's the first pillar. The second pillar is to make the prayer five times a day to wash ourselves of our sins. Thirdly, to pay the zakat or the poor do or the alms do as we made mention. The fourth pillar is to fast the month of Ramadan. Yes, yes, I know you're going to get a little bit hungry, but it's not that bad because we all do it. The fifth and final pillar is the Hajj. Now, let's move on to something else because we're going to be coming back to some of these topics as we go throughout this thing of why you should be a Muslim. Before uh, I was a Muslim, uh, I was uh, like uh, all young people, uh, which means uh, I was uh, uh, doing bad things, doing good things, but I didn't know uh, where I was going. So I was uh, searching uh, for the truth. I was searching for something which um, makes me uh, happy and uh, which uh, uh, gives me uh, stability and uh, confidence uh, in myself. Um, like I told you, I was searching for the truth, and um, I was uh, at this at this time I was traveling uh, in uh, Asia, and uh, I w uh, I met um, an imam in a masjid, and I, I asked him uh, what what uh, what uh, what is Islam, and uh, because I didn't know anything about Islam, and he told me the the five pillars, and he he, he told me. Um, wh how the, the Muslim consider all the prophets, and um, and when it, it, it told me about uh, Nabi, um, the prophet uh, Isa, alayhi salam, um, I understand uh, that uh, that was the truth. So uh, when we finished the conversation, I decided to enter in Islam. After um, uh, becoming a Muslim, um, my life was more uh, clear. Um, I, I feel myself confident in all my actions, and uh, also I have uh, aim in life, uh, which which is the, uh, the 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 aim to be a good man and to act uh, as best uh, as better as I can. And, uh, and, and it changed all my actions uh, in a daily life. Well, I am here to tell you that there is nothing that could possibly be farther from the truth. Jesus, the son of Mary, was indeed born of the Immaculate Conception and he was born without the agency of a father. Jesus is loved in Islam and we understand him to be a prophet, a messenger, the son of the Virgin Mary. Now I'd like to ask you another question. Is there any man out there that thinks that he could possibly be more pious than the Virgin Mary? Of course not. So how could it possibly be that Islam actually looks at women to being a lower status? impossible. So I hope this clears up some misconception that the prophet Jesus, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, was a prophet along with the prophet Abraham, the prophet Noah, the prophet Moses, the prophet Jesus, and the prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon them all. They were all prophets and messengers and they were loved. They are loved in Islam. <laughs> عبد الله آتاني الكتاب وجعلني 
نبيا وجعلني مباركا أينما كنت وأوصاني بالصلاة والزكاة ما دمت حيا وبرا بوالدتي ولم يجعلني جبارا شقيا والسلام علي يوم ولدت ويوم أموت ويوم أبعث حيا ذلك عيسى بن مريم قول الحق الذي فيه يمترون ما كان لله أن يتخذ من ولد سبحانه إذا قضى أمرا فإن Well, I think in one word, uh, I could say confusion. Um, there were sort of all sorts of directives, pointers given me by those that were in the know, supposedly. Um, but I found there a lot of contradictions, therefore confusion. That's about the key word about how I was before, confused. It seemed a logical conclusion. I took many years getting there. I took my time and did it slowly. But I always had that point, as from about 14 years of age, where I knew I was going to end up somewhere other than where I started this life. Um, and just very, very slowly and steadily, uh, the import I got through my life was pointing me more and more towards Islam. So it came from many, many directions. The young people that I met, elders, uh, religious people, uh, lots of people from all three religions, but they, all of them ended up pointing me towards Islam. Far from being oppressive, I, I believe it actually gives us a lot of freedom. It was, I believe, the first religion that gave women rights in their own name to run businesses, to own property, uh, to run their lives. Um, I can't see that as being oppressive. Um, I find that in Islam, I'm considered a very precious asset. Um, I'm much loved, much cherished. Um, and that's in my own right as myself, which is really nice. Firstly, deep relaxation. I'm far more relaxed about my life. I'm less concerned and worried about all the stuff that used to worry me. Um, I know that as long as all is well between me and my Lord God, Allah, um, then I'm okay with the world and uh, everything is fine. Whichever way I look at it, it has to be fine. So, uh, things are difficult sometimes. Things, as in every life, um, you get complications. This is life. But I find more solution, more resolution, and more uh, calming serenity uh, 